know, one of the key things that I've always been told and learned a long time ago from some old timers which are passed away now, they were some of the real true perch legends, kind of like Phil Dominic here. Yeah, I is that, right, you're still here, I'm, thank I'm goodness, my friend. Is that putting, dropping that anchor, I've got a waypoint that we're gonna go and fish right now, but what I like to do, because I firmly believe, and I've been taught that way, that these perch will follow the sturgeon because they're always rooting up the bottom looking for the lake fly larvae, which is the red worms. So what I'll do is I'll throw my anchor out about 150 to 200 yards before I go to my spot, and I'm gonna drag that anchor back to that spot. What it's gonna do, it's gonna create like a, a small channel and it's gonna kick up all that mud in the sediment and the red worms, and the perch are gonna follow that into right where we're fishing. And I can tell you that it works because always the guy in the front of the boat starts catching the perch first. So you know 90% of the time that them fish are coming from that direction. And the other thing is that once I sit there for you know a half hour to an hour and without a lot of action, I'll actually take the anchor and lift it up and down and stir up that bottom bottom again. Here's the spot that has been really good to me. I like it, It's uh, this is a, a reef right here and there's like a cup in here and there's a little finger right there. So what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna back myself. I'm coming out of the deep water. Um, it's about 17 foot out there and I'm up already in 14. So I'm backing myself in here. Right hand, right hand, right hand. It's a little harder for you sometimes because you blind Phil. Oh, oh, that is a perch, a nice one. Bring him in, get him in, get him in. Hold that one up for everybody. Ooh, <laughs> not on the hot where the line is. <laughs> there it is. You're on the run. Get him. Get him. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're just. I'm not going in. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, you guys. You know what? This is gonna be a great year for sure out here on Lake Winnebago, perch fishing. And uh, we're definitely having a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about enjoying the outdoors, having fun, and learning things. You know, even for me, a guy that's been doing this 33 years full time, I'm constantly learning. And I definitely don't know it all. I'm always interested in learning more from other people and learning things on my own. But that's what it's all about and having fun. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice job, Philly. You know, I think to myself, it's either we're using a twister tail most of the time, or it seems like, I don't know why, and it's always been that way, a green bead or an orange bead. Again, that one's probably in that eight and a half to nine inch range, a decent perch, but we've really, we'll lay them all out at the end. We've got some, some tanks in there today. And we haven't been out here, we only got out here. And that's kind of another misconception, and Phil, you could probably talk about this a little bit too, is that most people think you need to get out here super early in the morning, and uh, you're good, Phil. Um, you really don't. Oh, oh. oh, it is a person. Oh, a nice one. Oh, oh, there you go. That looks like a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Ooh. Hold that one up. Yeah, that's a, a dandy perch. That oh, is. Here. Oh, oh, here we go, hang on. Here we go, Phil. Now that, oh, I got your line too. Well, which one you got? I got you. No, I just got one, he swung right over. No, I guess I had just a little bit. And again, you look at these perches here on the Lake Winnebago system, absolutely giants. They are nice perch. I shouldn't say really giants, but for here, they are very respectable perch. Um, all in that, I would say that 10, 10 and a half, we got probably a couple in there that might be pushing 11, 11 and a half. I really don't want them any bigger as far as when it comes to eating. But again, pretty simple rig. Um, it's the more, the, I would say the key to the perch fishing is the way you set up for them and to try to locate them and bring them in. You're using your electronics. But again, the key is like we showed you earlier in this video is to throw that anchor out, put that boat in reverse. And I like to drag that anchor for almost, I would say anywhere from 75 to 100 yards to the spot where I wanna set up. And you can always tell that it works that them fish are actually following that, that trench that you're, that you're digging. And again, you're trying to kind of resemble sturgeon because the perch love to follow the sturgeon because the sturgeon are rooting up the bottom and rooting up the worms. Oop, there he goes. Larry, I got a question for you on that. That's it. Do you uh, just use the anchor in mud or do you use it on gravel or mud, rock? Open? Well, I, that's a good question, Phil, is what I do is I started off in the mud out there when I throw my anchor and I don't let out a, a ton of rope. I don't want it digging real hard into there. So I let out probably, you know, most of the time we're in about 
16 foot of water to, uh, you know, 14 to 16 feet of water. So I'll let out, oops, I've got Zupke hands today. I'll let out uh, probably about 30 feet and drag it back on it, but it works out really good. We'll throw that in the live well, rock and roll. Got him, Hunter? Yeah. Another nice perch. Oh, that is a nice one. Hold oh, that one up. Man. Hold. That is a nice perch. Oh yeah, there's a school going through right here, you guys. You can see them are all perched for sure. The key is, as you can see on this one, is I always like to make sure I've got the line vertical. And that bait is literally maybe an inch to an inch and a half off the bottom. That's how tight I keep them. Uh, I think that's, that's key, that's key in there. Some days it pays to jig them. You know, oh, that's a decent fish right there. Yeah. Other days it's nice just to leave them in the rod holders. Um, so you kind of vary that. Uh, one thing I can tell you for sure is that when it's really super windy out, um, I use really light rods because you're going to get a lot of that whip in the rods and that is the time where I hold them a lot. So you can try to balance that out a little bit. If they're in the rod holder, they're going to be really whipping up and down off of the bottom. And sometimes it's too much, so I'll hold on to them and I'll try to adjust it a little bit so you're moving your arms up and down. Uh, but another nice perch right there. Gotta love it. You know, we probably have kept, oops. We probably have kept about 25 today, the three of us. I think that's pretty good. You know what? I'm, I'm not really big at coming out here and the limit is 25 and keeping 25 for everybody in the boat. I'm more conservative about it because, you know, I like to see this last a little longer. It seems like our cycles for perch the last 30 years have been very sporadic. It's like we get two good years every six or eight years where we really get good perch numbers because so many of these fish are taken out of the system. So again, I would kind of like to see the limit go to 15, but like I said, it is 25, so. Hey everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed our YouTube video today. And we want to thank our good friend, Phil Dominic, the blind guy. Hey Phil, you've lived on this lake for how long now? 62 years. 62 years. So you know a little bit about this body of water. Between Illinois and being at the south end of Bago, yes, a little bit on this lake. Seen a lot of changes over those 62 years. All favoring the fishermen, <laughs> nothing favoring the fish. Right. Well, you know, that's the way things go, and uh, hopefully that stuff changes someday. And we, again, do appreciate everybody watching our YouTube video. And the pole's leaving the boat. And the pole's leaving the boat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm looking up there, I saw that rod. Like, am I seeing things? Oh, folks, we can't end the day without at least showing you, and we did catch probably about 20 of these absolutely beautiful fish out here. And just so you guys know, there is no limit on these. You're more than welcome to keep every one you catch, and they're absolutely delicious. There you go. Thanks for joining our video this week. And remember, like I always say here at Larry Smith Outdoors, it's a great day to be alive.